How's it going everyone? Welcome back to the GM mode with the Toronto Maple Leafs. Currently, we are sitting in a really bad position. We are last in our division, and I looked, we are last in the entire NHL, as you will see right here. One sec. Alright, so, last in our, last in the NHL, um... We have same amount of points as the Edmonton Oilers. We have two games more played than them. So, I would like to get some prospects since there's literally no chance that we make the playoffs this year. So, let's start looking for some trade options. Now, I would like to get rid of our, our second and third line guys, which we do have quite a bit of. But let's start with left winners. I was looking at this. Grabner. He has some decent trade value. And could do a lot of good for some teams. So let's take a look at the team. I want some. I don't want draft picks. I would rather take a prospect. Because draft picks, you're just. You know, sometimes they have more trade value. And with prospects, you already know what you're going to get. For the most part, anyway. Um, let's sort by potential right here. Any elite, like low, but low trade value elite players, I'm looking for. No. Austin. Oh. Let's let's see. Julian Gauthier, power forward. Okay. Second round. Drafting the second round, 42nd overall. Yeah, let's see if I can pick this guy up now. Uh, the trade values are close. Yeah. Let's see if I can just add another player that I'm not going to use. Let's look at those bottom six players. Who's this guy? Oh. Alright, I drafted him second round last year. Right? Yeah, last year. Bottom six forward as a playmaker. Likely not going to use, so let's put him in this deal. Now, would that go through? I might be able to get a draft pick back, actually. Alright, that's... Oh, they don't really have any draft picks for this year. What about their third for next year? Okay, maybe a fourth then for this year? Okay, don't. Let's just do that then. Okay. So, Gravner and Mayun Shen. Probably saying that wrong, but for Julian Gauthier. Let's just do best roster for now, because I'm not done. Um, that was Boston. Now, another player I want to trade is Komarov. Now, let's see if Buffalo has any one. Let's go to Rookie Skaters. Yeah, too much. Carolina. Nope. Columbus, maybe? have some elite potential guys but those are way too much trade value only got this one but I'm more looking for elite um, no not Calgary Chicago Gosh, I need Colorado come on okay Ooh, another Nylander second round 38th overall low elite He's 61 overall, so he's still a little bit of ways, but let's take a chance on this guy. No. That's definitely not going to go through. Do I have any... Um, let's see here. Put in Foster. Let's double check that I don't need him. Come on. Two way forwards, sixty nine overall. 
know, a two-way forward might not be bad. Do I have any other bottom six players I don't want? Do I like a playmaker or someone else? What this guy? Grinder. Who's this guy? Two way forward, grinder, two way sniper. Thought I had a playmaker. It's that guy, but and this. All right, let's just let's put in this guy instead. Let's put the grinder in. I don't have not used grinders a lot, but and. It's a little bit more tray value. Let's just see here. Okay, they don't like that. So, what if I had a draft pick in? Okay, um, fourth maybe? Okay, so the, they're not mad about the deal, but they're. They're over the cap name. I put Weber on waivers. Okay. So I'll take some salary back. Let's see. Do they have anyone with some salary that has low trade value? Mm, let's see. There's Weber. I don't want to take that deal though. Well, Pi, here we go. One year for 1.32. Now, did that go through? Okay, let's see what else I have. Oh, if I, I don't know if this would counter what I just did, but let's try Hunwick. I'm not using him. Oh, let's just try this. It's a little less money. Let's try that. All right, they accepted it, perfect. Now, let's redo the lines. You know what? I'll edit these lines and I'll be right back. All right, we're back. So, these are the line changes I've made. We have first line stay the same. Then we got second line, Kreider, Bozak, Paye now. Looks like crap, but it's a rebuilding process. Even though we did make the third round last year, which... I still don't know how that happened, but anyway, now we got like Nylander Greening on the third line and Holland, Smith, and Levo, which I think I called out last episode, but that's all right. We need to get better, and getting the first overall pick would definitely help. Hoping that guy's going to be a superstar. Now, let's take a, oh he got some player means let's look at that first come on um probably gonna be off the trades lupo yeah he doesn't like me trading away grabner but you know what for now for the future every question that they ask me is just gonna be second answer it seems to work positive yep Okay, he likes me train for him. Yep, second answer. Positive. <laughs> Every time. Let's check out the AHL. I don't usually do this, but... Okay, we got one meeting for Leipzig. Okay, he doesn't like his ice time. Yep, second answer. <laughs> Alright, no effect on that one, but... Alright. Now. Let's look at the scouting real quick here. I can't do it. Um, yeah, let's go over here. Where is it? Did I miss it? Um, what the heck? Is it not here? Or am I blind? Updates. Ah, right there. There it is. Okay, scouting. Now, let's just look at this real quick. So, 
Um, potential. Okay. Well, so far. Well, you know what? I'll come back to that. Now, let's just get back to the season. Because, you know, that's scouting, you know, in this game is just really weird. Let's go to the NHL. Now, let's go up to the San Jose game right here, the fifth. Should I get Matt Hunwick back? <laughs> oh, his overall drop. I think he was like an 81 to start the year. But nope. Decline. Now. If we start winning now. <laughs> I don't know what to say. No, there's two wins in three games. What the heck? Um, let's see. Not... I haven't scouted all in Europe, so let's do Russia for three weeks. I mean, most of the prospects are in North America, so that's what I primarily like to scout. God, we're now we're winning. I don't understand. Go another week. Go to Colorado. Let's go to this Colorado game. Trade deadline's right around the corner. I don't understand. I trade away some players that are, can help us for the most part, and we start winning a few. Okay. A 5 nothing win against San Jose. God. Shoot a loss. Okay. So, I just want a good draft pick this year. I'm hoping for number one. Okay, and then let's go on assignment again. Um, let's see. Let's go. Let's go to the. Oh wait, no. Let's go to the U.S. for defensemen for three weeks. All right. Okay. Player morale. Okay. And Kadri, performance not too proud of. Okay. Second answer. And positive effect. <laughs> We are losing a lot now, so now let's go just day before the trade deadline. We'll see where we sit at the time. Okay, two nothing win. Okay, come on. I'm not trading no one, so I already did all my trades. Let's look at the stats. All right, so we're last in our division. I want to see where we stand in the entire league. But yeah, two point three two goals for, two point seven against, eleven point four eight on the power play, and eighty three point seven on the PK. Okay, and our last ten three four and three. Now let's look at the entire league. Where do we stand there? And okay, we're now fifth. How many? Okay, so geez. I want to get. Don't win too many more. I want at least a top five pick. Okay, so you're top five. We're fifth in the league. I mean, no. Let's just get to the end of the season and just get that draft pick. I really want to see where we stand. Okay, so let's go to this Florida game. Could probably just, yeah, might just go to the end of the season. But I like doing it week by week or every other week just to make sure nothing happens. Okay, player morale. Nylander. Okay, doesn't like the locker room. I mean, this is the guy I really want to make sure his morale is sky high. Okay, positive effect, perfect. I want him to become like a really good player for us. Yeah, I mean, I understand why we're losing a lot. I mean, that's what, four losses in a row? Okay. Let's get that scout. 
Okay, let's go to the OHL for defensemen for four weeks. There's another loss. Oh, now let's go to go another week here. We have three games this week. And we get a win against Buffalo. More player morale. Oh, we can hold Kreider. Yeah, doesn't like his ice time. He's on the second line. And he's getting power play time. I want to look at this. Come on. I'm going to stop. Oh, oh there's a teammate in there. Whoops. Let's stop the sim. Can I still hold that team meeting? Or is it... Where did that pass? Yeah, I can't hold it anymore. Okay. Let me look at Kreider. What the heck? Yeah, second line. He's listed as a second line forward. And uh, he has PK... Or not PK. Power play time. That's fine, Kreider. Come on. Quit your bitching. Alright, got eight games left. No, I just end the season. And we can do a wrap up for the entire league and whatnot. Okay, overtime loss, shootout loss. Stop getting points. Alright, there's some losses. Okay. Okay, for 28, 41, 10. Ouch! After making the third round last year. There's an OT win. And there's a 4 0 win against Buffalo. And send the scout out one more time before the season ends. Do, let's do defenders now on QMJHL. Let's do three weeks here. Okay. So, okay, so we ended the season 30, 42, and 10. Come on, back out of this. Okay, we got a player meeting here. Let's just uh, let's just make sure all the every team's done here. Okay, there's the regular season done. Now let's take a look at the stats here. I mean, we know we're last in our division. Okay. So, 2.28 goals for, 2.75 against, 13% of the power play, okay, went up a little bit, and 82.24. So, looks like it's 5 on 5 in power play, it's hurting us. Now, go to the entire league. Where did we stand? Wow. <laughs> we went on a really bad losing streak, so... We will have the first overall pick unless we don't win the lottery. So, that's good news. Now, now let's take a look at the entire league. Or, let's look at our player stats first, actually. Alright, do forwards first. Okay, points. GVR 59, Lupo 53, Kadri 49. So, Neander 49 points in his first year. That should, that should give him some growth. Then get more points than Bozak. And Kreider with 40. Like 31. It's pretty good. He's getting up there in age though. 33. But Pae, guy I trade for. And yeah, you can see where we struggled. Holland, Nevo, Smith. Could not play defense and save their life this year. And let's look at defenseman now. Um, okay, so Riley with 33, Gardner 25. We'd like them to be a little bit better offensively. But not bad. But then, yeah. No points other than them from the back end, really, this year. And then Cowan, a minus 25. Ouch. 
Lorenzen was not much better either. Okay. Now let's look at our goalies this year. So Bernie, 2.56 goals against. Oh, he's 25 and 31. And five shootout losses. And then 918 save percentage. Okay. What did he do last year? Because he was unreal last year. Um, yeah, like. Oh, I can't even see what that is. Okay, it was 2.0 something. <laughs> and. I, come on, EA. I should be able to see that. Okay, now let's take a look at the whole NHL. Okay, forwards. So Jing Ben with 92 points, and Ovechkin and Sagan with 87, Tavares with 86, Backstrom 84, Johansson 81, oh, Hoffman. That's a surprise. Wow, he got to 89 overall. And Patrick Kane, 95. Holy crap. <laughs> Alright, that's points. Let's look at goals. Ovechkin with 46. Okay. Carter, Kane, Sagan, 38. Perry, Vanek, and Nash with 37. Okay. And now, whoops. Whew. Who had the league in assists? Backstrom, not shocked. And Ben, Tavares, Kovatar, Johansson, Voracek, Zuccarello. Johnson, okay. Now, um, with the best plus minus, just curious here. Sharp plus 38, okay. Now let's look at defensemen. So by, so by points first before I change it. Okay, defenseman. Carlson probably. Yep. With 62 points. Then Ekman Larson with 55. Keith 53. Subban 53. Doughty 47. Alright. How about goals? Burns with 26. Yep. Wow. 26 goals as defenseman. That's really good. And then assists. Keith with 43, and then the best plus minus D-man was, come on, Bufflin and Ekblad with plus 33 each, oh jeez, high franchise for Ekblad, woo, it's gonna be like 95 overall next year or something, what did, or something like that. Okay, and then last but not least, goalies. Okay, so goals against. Hellebuck with 1.99. I don't want to count him, he didn't play much. Uh, okay, 2.15, Lundquist. 2.16, Anderson 2.19, okay, so a few goalies had some really good years, now let's look at wins, Lundqvist with 45, and then, jeez, I'm guessing Lundqvist wins the Vesna. yep, Top three in all major categories. And how many shutouts? And he had nine shutouts as well. Along with Price and Hellebuck. Jeez. Okay. No. Now and then. Next episode, I believe we will do the draft. Hopefully, we can scout a big player. Until then, I'll see you in that episode.